Good morning church. God is good and all the time. We welcome everybody watching us on YouTube and Facebook right now as well. We say good morning to you whichever part of the world that you are in. Comment below that where you're watching us and praying from. Right now we're gonna come to a moment along the prayer that we prayed for the baptism for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We're gonna pray for our relationship with the Holy Spirit. I want to read you a verse where Jesus talked about the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. He says, therefore I say to you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven men. But blasphemy against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven men. Anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man, it will be forgiven him. But whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit, it will not be forgiven him. This morning, I'm reading through the New Testament right now and I'm highlighting it with pink. Any word that relates to the Holy Spirit and it touched me. The fact that you can get in trouble by saying a word against the Holy Spirit. You can get in trouble, big trouble, by speaking against the Holy Spirit. So that tells me, reverse it, that you can get blessings by speaking with the Holy Spirit. If you can get in trouble by saying stuff against the Holy Spirit, that means that you can get anointing by talking with the Holy Spirit. If you can, to the point where you will never be forgiven because you're saying word against. And so I want to look at the reverse part. That means that I can get God's anointing and favor by talking with the Holy Spirit. Because the Bible says the grace of the Father and the, uh, the, the love of the Father and the grace of Jesus and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. So I want us to take a moment right now and to realize that the Holy Spirit, you can speak to the Father, you can speak to the Son and that is great. But when you talk to the Holy Spirit, changes will happen. You know, one pastor in the Ukraine, when he prayed for me, he really walks with the Holy Spirit and he said, Vlad, if you pray and fast, uh, you will be just a religious person. He said, that's what Pharisees did. He says, if you really want to see changes in your ministry and in your life, he says, you have to talk to the Holy Spirit. He says, praying more and fasting more is not the key. It's talking to the Holy Spirit. Not about the Holy Spirit, but to the Holy Spirit. And Jesus in here says that if you talk against, you're in trouble. But the reverse is also true. If you talk with, you become the trouble for the devil's kingdom. And you become an anointing of God. Can somebody say amen? So I want us to take a moment right now. I want you to place your hand on your heart right now and begin to talk to the Holy Spirit. Begin to welcome the Holy Spirit right now. I want you to begin to become conscious of the Holy Spirit. He is on this earth. He is with you right now and He wants fellowship. Don't be afraid of blasphemy because you're too busy trying to fellowship right now. Begin to fellowship with Holy Spirit. Begin to say, Holy Spirit, I welcome you today. Holy Spirit, I love you. Holy Spirit, you are so precious to me. Holy Spirit, you are my friend. Holy Spirit, you are my companion. Holy Spirit, you are my counselor. You are my guide. You are the one that strengthens me. Oh, Holy Spirit, give me more of you. Oh, Holy Spirit, take more of me. Holy Spirit, I need you more today than ever before. Holy Spirit, I rely on you right now. Come on, let's just, if we can sing the song oh holy spirit we welcome you today holy spirit we welcome you today Take 
yes Holy Spirit we need you we welcome you we're gonna pray right now that we yield our ministry and our family and everything about us to the Holy Spirit we were driving yesterday with my wife and she, we she reminded me she said Vlad remember how when an important person would come to our church about six years ago seven years ago and I was trying to hold them there was this family that came in and I'm not gonna mention names and this person he was supposedly very known and very famous and he was really offended at our church because of the supernatural and other things and I remember I was so passionate trying to keep him in our church to the point that I babysitted his children there's nothing wrong with babysitting children but not to keep somebody in church those kids they beat me so bad me and my wife and that guy came from his date on Sunday night you know didn't even give me a gift didn't even pay me and he had a lot of money and you know what happened he still left our church and when he left this is what he said he said rich talented known people will never come to this church he said musicians will never come to this church he says your church will never grow I mean literally he cursed it and I remember today now looking at my life and I say I'm so glad I don't run after people like that no more and I made a decision I am no longer babysitting nobody's children to, so they stay in our church I'm gonna babysit children if I need to but not for people to stay in the church I will no longer hold people back and the only relationship that I will sacrifice for is relationship with the Holy Spirit and today we see talented people today we see blessed people that come to our church wealthy people wise people people twice my age and they stay in their church not because I hold them and because I seek to please them it's because when we put the Holy Spirit first the Holy Spirit is gonna begin to draw and he will begin to build this ministry can somebody say amen so I want to tell you something right now I want you to begin to give your dreams begin to give your business begin to give your ministry to the Holy Spirit and say Holy Spirit you're the most important person in my life not keeping people not you know uh, pleasing everybody not just simply trying to prove anything Holy Spirit I long for you Holy Spirit I desire you Holy Spirit grow my life Holy Spirit grow my ministry Holy Spirit grow my business Holy Spirit I ask you for your help I need contacts with people but Holy Spirit your word says that the chariot is built for the battle but the victory comes from God God you don't delight in the strength of a man you don't delight in the strength of a horse but you delight in those who hope in your mercy come on let's just lift our hands with them begin to surrender everything we are begin to surrender your dreams begin to surrender your fears begin to surrender your desires begin to surrender right now you because Holy Spirit will build your life and that's gonna be better than you can do yourself we're gonna sing the chorus one more time we're gonna welcome him in our business we're gonna welcome him in our ministry we're gonna welcome him in our relationship right now Oh Holy Spirit we welcome you. Holy Spirit we will prioritize relationship with you more than any other relationship. We will value intimacy with you. Holy Spirit we seek you today. Holy Spirit we hungry for you today. Holy Spirit use us. Holy Spirit fill us. Holy Spirit change us. Holy Spirit make us realize that you're the most important person on this earth. Dear Holy Spirit.